Hi, my name is Abby. Uh, I'm going to use this video as a way to introduce myself before I am in Nepal, uh, so you kind of know me a little bit before I arrive. Um, so I'm currently teaching English in South Korea. Uh, I've been here for one year. Uh, I teach uh, students from grade one to grade six, uh, and uh, I'm about to leave in August. Uh, my contract is up, and I am kind of departing on this uh, world tour. I'm going uh, around the world, kind of, uh, back to my home. Uh, and Nepal is one of my stops. I'm actually uh, I'm actually staying in Nepal the longest of all of the places, and the reason is uh, because of my dad. Uh, I'm coming to Nepal, like Nepal is very interesting to me because my dad traveled uh, here when he was my age. Uh, he's now much older, obviously, I think he's, he's 60, I think he had his 60th birthday recently. And um, so <laughs> it's been quite some time since he's been to Nepal, but um, as a child he always talked about uh, his trip, he did a similar trip to what I am doing now, he was working uh, with an organization called the Peace Corps when he was in his early 20s. And he, uh, after two years of serving in the Peace Corps, he decided to go around the world, and travel to a lot of different countries. Uh, and I had always grown up listening to these stories of him traveling the world, and I was always so envious of what he was able, like all of the places he was able to go. I remember just sitting and like and looking at him and being uh, just I had the thought like I I'm going to do that too I'm I'm gonna do the same thing that my dad did um, and now it's really strange to be living that because uh, since you know since I was five I've wanted to do this so uh, I'm here now and I'm so so excited I uh, can't even like just the thought of what I'm doing it can't wipe the smile, I can't wipe the smile off of my face. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm coming to Nepal. Uh, when my dad talked about Nepal, uh, his whole face changed. He was like, he just said it was the most beautiful country he had ever visited. It just amazing, amazing uh, views and the mountains were incredible. He just, I remember him lighting up when he was talking about Nepal. And that is really the reason that I'm coming to stay in Nepal for so long is because my father just had such great things to say about it. So I'm so excited to go to Nepal, but I'm even more excited to meet all of you guys. Um, I decided to work, or I wanted to work at uh, a school when I was traveling because um, I just grew so attached to the students here in South Korea. Uh, I'm leaving in two weeks uh, to start traveling because my contract is up and um, I just, the reason that I am sad about leaving is because of the students. I grew so attached to all of them. They all are so funny and they have so much energy and they keep me laughing all day long. I, I am really 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 sad at the thought of leaving them I think um, we just developed such a great connection while I was here and that was just not I did not expect that at all when I first came to Korea last year and so uh, when I was planning my trip I was like I can't I can't not be in a classroom so um, I was looking at different ways that I could teach uh, while I was uh, while I was traveling and this was one of them this is what I stumbled across so um, that's why I'm coming to Nepal and why I'm working in Nepal and why I want to be in the be in Nepal teaching so um, yeah, I'm just super, super excited to meet all of you and hear all of your stories. Uh, and I kind of have a really unique opportunity to hear your stories because I am I I was told that I'm teaching a movie class. And uh, before Korea, I was a journalism major at a university, uh, and I was getting so I would go out. And I I worked for a newspaper, and I would uh, go out and I would. 
uh, ask people questions about themselves, um, just kind of total strangers. I mean, I, I had a topic, and then I would go out and uh, meet people and get stories from them. So uh, storytelling is really... Ugh, in my blood like I I love I love talking to complete strangers I love uh, hearing new stories all the time uh, so I I am so excited to share this with you and try to teach you about storytelling um, this class is going to be like a short film class in my mind it's going to be like a very short film class we're gonna start with how important it is to find good stories then we're going to talk about interviewing people and how to interview people. And then we are going to uh, write stories about these interviews. We're going to write like a newspaper type story um, about, these, about these interviews that we give. And then we're going to turn all of that into a short film, maybe one minute or two minutes long that we can share with the rest of the class. And how I imagine this is kind of like a stepping stone. Like each of these are, each of these classes will be stairs. And at the top of the stairs, there's going to be the final product. So at the first stair, we're gonna start with storytelling and how to tell a really good story. And then the next stair is going to be interviewing. And then the next stair is going to be how to make these interviews into something interesting and then writing the story, and then filming, finally, finally filming the story. Um, that's kind of the last step before we, or I guess, and then we're going to edit these, edit this footage, and then we're going to show these films to the class. So there's, it's a very, there's a lot of steps in it, but they are all, when you t break them down one by one and tackle them one at a time, it is, easier than it sounds, I think. So we're going to do it. Uh, each class is going to be a different stair, and we're going to learn about that stair, <laughs> that stair. Uh, and so, but yeah, that's kind of my vision for this class. Um, we'll see if it happens or not. Maybe if it doesn't go as planned, we'll figure something out. <laughs> um, we'll fi figure something new out. And uh, if it does go according to plan, that's great. But things tend to not <laughs> go as planned. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's kind of, that's how I'm going to be getting your stories from you. So, uh, when I come to the orphanage, I'm going to be extracting these stories from people. I'm going to be asking people a lot of questions. So don't be, uh, alarmed when I ask you kind of personal things, maybe. I won't ask you too personal of things, but, um, I will want to know each and every one of you because I know that you all have wonderful stories to tell and I am... I can't express how excited I am to meet all of you. Uh, so yeah, that's a little bit about me, why I'm coming to Nepal, why I want to be at uh, this orphanage teaching, and uh, what I'm going to teach a little bit. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of a little bit about me. But I am more excited to learn about you. So uh, yeah, I hope to see you all soon. Uh, and it was nice kind of meeting you, but I'm uh, I'm ready for the real thing now. Okay, bye! <laughs>